What is going on everyone? Welcome back here guys to a brand new audio test. I recently picked up the brand new Yeti Caster Blackout microphone which is absolutely amazing. I will possibly put a link down in the uh, description to the Blue microphone website. You could actually go to Blue's website and the company's website itself and purchase the product directly from them which is what I did guys so it's really cool. You could go on their website, they have various models as well if you're not interested in the the boom arm style microphone. Um, <clears throat> this microphone also comes with the boom arm so you could actually connect it to your desk and have like a pivoting, uh, it, it's like a pivoting boom arm for the microphone, it's really cool. You could maneuver it in different positions, like say if your desk was a little bit further away, you could kind of stretch the arm out so we could reach that uh, position. It's really cool. But anyways guys, it, you could kind of ignore the background footage here. This is just some old Sly 3 footage from my Let's Play that I did several months ago. So yeah guys, anyways I just wanted to give you guys a quick little audio test here. I also have the pop filter set up so whenever I pronounce like P's and stuff like P -p -p, like that sound, anything like that with a P that uh, it's the sound is a little bit muffled on the with the pop filter attached so now I have the complete studio set up and I'm ready to record some awesome content for the future which is what I plan to do I also plan to get a new liquid cooled uh, PC I'm possibly thinking about doing a custom built computer but I don't know if I should do that now or just because honestly guys on Newegg and various other sites there's some really good deals on some really awesome gaming PCs that have some great specs, some i9 processors, <clears throat> as well as uh, Asus processors, or uh, uh, there was just a, a whole bunch of different ones I was looking at actually, Asus computers and just various uh, custom built computers. I was thinking about just doing my own, like p piecing out each part and components and just doing it that way, but I don't know. Just let me know what you guys think down in the comments below because I could easily do that. But I was just thinking of doing something else. <clears throat> By the way guys, the, I'm recording this video here on the 19th of May. So this is sort of like a little update video. I'm also going to be posting some more Nostalgia Gaming series episodes. As you can see I just had an epic fail there. I just latched onto the hook that was in the bottom of this fortress on Sly 3. <laughs> but um, back to what I was saying guys. This microphone is just overall a really great selection. I, I highly I highly recommend this product so far because it just sounds amazing. I'm really impressed with the sound and the clarity. This microphone has also also has a mute function, so whenever you're live streaming and you feel like there's a moment you need to be muted, you could easily just click the button and your your microphone's muted, as well as an, a gain adjustment and volume control as well as I believe there's four different modes and the one that I'm using is the Omni Directional so that's the one that's re recommended for Let's Players if you're gonna be in a, a room that has a decent coverage so or a decent range I guess so yeah guys <clears throat> it's just a really amazing microphone I highly recommend it and I recently I previously I used the AT2020 which was the Audio-Technica USB microphone and it was reliable for the past almost 10 years, guys, I've been using this microphone. So, actually no, it was more like 8 years. But anyways, it's a really great microphone. Although, recently, I kind of noticed like a little bit of a humming noise in the microphone itself. Especially when I was recording on uh, some of the PS4 and Xbox One gameplay clips, like from my Ghost Recon Wildland series and stuff. Even when I was playing on the Spyro Reignited trilogy for my recent uh, conclusion of Spyro 3, it was just like a weird humming noise in the background. So, And I noticed it was only the microphone that was causing it because I, I tried one of my old ones and it wasn't wor it was working perfectly. So, especially with this new Yeti Caster microphone, the, the Blackout, uh, it just, the audio quality is superior compared to the previous one. Even though the AT2020 is still a reliable microphone, I believe I paid $85 to $90 at the time several years ago. This new one was $200, but it came with a bundle with the boom arm, 
the the reflex three shock mount I believe it's called or something with an R it's called I, I, something like that and then it also came with the uh, uh, the hookup attachment so you could actually install the microphone into the boom arm which is really awesome and then I just clipped on my pop filter on the side so it's all ready to go guys maybe I'll do a separate uh, vlog style video or I'm gonna I'm gonna think about I'm actually thinking about I should say I don't know what I'm saying guys it's been such a long day at work but um I was thinking about doing like a vlog series talking about latest like technology and video game news as well as even creating my own website and, and getting that actually going because I kind of worked on it for my final project for my college capstone uh, but there's a lot more I want to do especially with like having features for the users so they're able to view my videos and everything and stay up to date with all my latest current updates <clears throat> regarding my videos and just updates in general I guess um, but anyways guys this is gonna conclude our quick little audio test here I know it's like a six minute update video but I just wanted to cover a few things and test the audio for the microphone itself so yeah guys this has been a quick test for the Yeti Caster Blackout USB by Blue, and I will post a link down below in the description to the website where you could purchase the microphone. So I highly recommend it. It's $200, but it's worth the investment, especially if you're looking into getting into multimedia and creating videos. So, anyways, guys, stay tuned for more updates and more content from my NGS series as well as Ghost Recon that Let's Play. I will be concluding that soon and working on some new projects for the future. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and have a great day, everyone.